Hello, Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I am back with another video on Hackintosh. So this will be the part 5 of Clever Configurator Guide which I have stopped making because it's like a quite hard thing to make a long video on Clever Configurator but there are so many people who want to learn how to use Clever Configurator. So before I start the video I want to ask you guys to like, share and subscribe the videos and if you are new to this page then watch the other videos you might get a lot of help out of all of the videos I made and if you are a regular viewer of my channel then please like share and subscribe and share this channel to your other friends and family who want to try to build a Hackintosh and let me know I'm trying to change the topic as well I'm trying to make new videos on Hackintosh as well so it's not like only Hackintosh if you have any problem in using Windows or normal computing if you want to design a a computer for Hackintosh or any question related to technology or computing you have put it in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer you with the best responses so let's start with our fifth part of Clever Configurator and basically it's fifth part but in this section I will teach you a lot of basic stuff as well so before I start I want to tell you that uh, this is the part fifth of the series of Clever Configurator videos I made and if you want to learn more in in depth about each section here from ACPI boot graphics and CPU devices and etc you can watch them as well but in this video I will make a generalized intro for the Clever Configurator again because there's a lot being changed by the updates and the Clever Configurator looks completely different from the time I uh, made the videos previously so there are many different changes you have to do to get your Hackintosh working perfectly so let's start so my system System is basically a seven generation KB Lake system and I'm using a gigabyte Asorus Z270X gaming 5 motherboard and I have a 8 gigs of 32 megahertz DDR4 RAM a 4.3 or 4.6 gigahertz Intel Core i7 7600k the rest is same that that does not matter only the motherboard cpu is what makes your hackintosh a hackintosh so i'm using a graphics card as well but different graphic cards have different compatibilities as well but to the basic point it's motherboard and cpu and then the most important part is the gpu if you're using a gpu for your hackintosh so uh, the gpu i'm using is nvidia gtx 970 and let's start to the clever configurator now so the first page on the Clever Configurator, if you just open it uh, for the first time, you will be like this and you have to go to the mount and you have to click this mount area to mount your partition and then you have to click this home and you have to mount or select this config which is placed in EFI, EFI Clover config. So I have already opened it. So here at the top you can see there is DSTT and under that there is patches. So this patch I'm using is to fix the audio problem in ALC 1220 for Gigabyte Asaurus system so you have to add this patch and you can find this patch from the list of patches here and this is the patch I am using so you just click this and there will be a patch like this here and you have to click the plus I already have that so you can do this if you're using ALC 1220 and then here is enable C2, C4, C6 and C7 so these are basically the CPU sleep or low power states and you can enable all of them and it gives no bad effect on the CPU but it might help your system to go to sleep properly and to give you a better clock rates or different CPU clock rates and it might help you save power. And here in min multiplier and max multiplier I have entered the maximum and the minimum CPU frequency I want my CPU to go and what are listed in my BIOS as well. So 8 is the minimum, 46 is the maximum and it's 4600 megahertz and it's 800 megahertz. And here plugin type is 0 and this enables the maximum power of a CPU. Right now this option is new. The generates P states and C states is old but this, this has been added up. APSN, APLF and plugin type. And just ignore it for the moment and this is basically for the new systems for like X299 or Z270X and stuff so you can run your Hackintosh perfectly without these as well right now even on Hysera I use fixed shutdown on Z270 motherboard because elsewise it gives a bad restart error and even uh, instead of shutdowning it restarts the system so let's go to the boot section I always use this kex slash dev slash mode is equals to 1 and rootless is equals to 0 and then here is the verbus or minus V boot flag and this is very very important if you are making your Hackintosh stable and you are just new to Hackintosh make it checked for a long time until you are like pretty sure that there is no problem in loading your 
machine or your Mac OS X era. So this is a uh, best choice to have checked. Then here you can select a default boot volume like I have selected the OS X and, or you can use the last booted volume. If you select the last booted volume then there is a benefit to it is that if you go here and select startup drive and from here you select Microsoft Windows instead of your high Sierra or the other booting device it will directly boot to that boot camp or that device so I don't know why it's not displaying right now but it directly boots it into that if you use this and you can select from there and then there is the timeout I use usually zero instead of minus one or fast because if you use minus one and fast you just lose the ability to go into the clever bootloader if you encounter any error and you will not be able to select the boot drive manually if you want to so the zero is the best option it just skips it if you don't press any key in the initial starter and then is the boot section i will explain these in detail and i have already made videos on this if you want to learn more about it you can just learn it from those videos the link will be in the description below so to the fix the booting graphics errors like most of the people have a stretched out apple logo at the boot so this is the fix for that you can add 0x8 so many zeros you can count it on the screen or i will add in the description and 000 in the three others then go to the cpu so right now i'm using a 4600 megahertz piece because my cpu is overclocked to that frequency from the bios so i'm using this but the mac i don't know the mac high sarah or mac os x sarah just displayed max to 4.3 then is the type of cpu and that is 0x0650 and if you don't know about these details what details your system possess or have there is a quick fix to that as well so what you have to do is you have to go here generate config and just click that generate config and a new config page will open and a file will be placed here and you don't have to use all of these values but it provides you with the basic information as well like the basic text you want you have to use basic values you can use in boot graphics fix some of the ACPI values you can use do not use all of these they might give you an error in the CPU you can look at this right now there is no values I have entered here for example it gave me a value of 255 in saving mode which I can add and it won't give me an error because I know it's generated by this clever configurator and it has searched through my CPU specs and motherboard specs so it's not always true but it's most of the time true and there are some things or some wild cards you can trust on then go to the devices section so here it have given me uh, zero x tetra zero here and inject stuff i have already added this yeah so you can add this here but that does not make any difference so i have injected <coughs> usb add clock id high current and here reset hda and audio 7 so this is for those who are using apple alc 11220 and they have a z270x motherboard so you can use this audio and reset hda and audio and 7 under the audio and this patch to fix your audio problem then in the disable driver options you have to do nothing in the GUI here you have to enter your monitor's basic default or the max resolution that it supports and on which you want to boot your uh, high Sierra on for example if you have a 1080p or 1200p or 4k or 2k monitor you have to add the resolution here so the system starts at this resolution it boots up into this resolution and for this you have to do another step as well to get the proper boot up resolution but i will explain it in another video or at the end of this video then go to the graphics section here you can see there is a load Intel load VBIOS inject and stuff and if I go to the graphic section of this you can see so many different values here and if I enter some of these values they won't give me an error if I add zero here or this NV cap or this display specific file it won't give error because the clever configurator already used these values if you add no other values here so it's like basically helping him to be confirmed on the values but you can leave all of these alone except IG platform ID which you have to select depending on your CPU and there are a couple of different IG platform IDs depending on your CPU and you have to use load VBIOS and inject Intel if you are using Intel CPU then you have to go to the Kex and patches section and here you have to come in the Kex and patches section it won't give you any Kex patch section because it does not know which patch you need it will give you some uh, different options like Apple RTC, Apple Intel CPU power mention, color panic and stuff you can select all these which are mentioned here that like I have done and this patch which is Apple USB XHCI PCI is to fix 
USB 3 and 3.1 problem on your high Sarah and on your Sarah so you can use this to fix your problem there and this IOH AHCI block storage is used to fix the trim or SSD trim problem so you can add these patches into your system to fix them all there are a lot of different patches here as well if you want to use depending on your Mac OS X so right now there is an enable trim patch so let me use this so this one is different than, than I'm using the one I'm using and this one might be for the older versions for like 10.11 10.10 or 10.9 so don't use this if you're above 10.11 and then go to the RT variables you can add ROM and MLB value here to fix your iMessages I have removed it from here because of the uh, issue that if someone steals it my iMessages won't work but I have already added some values here and for the startup of uh, Hysera, you have to add the CSR active config to 0x00 to fix the NVIDIA graphics problem 0x tetra 0. In SM BIOS, you can select the iMac 18,3 if you are using KB Lake processor. Don't use 18.2 or 18.1, that gives error. If you're using Skylake, use 17.1. If you're on Broadwell, use 16.2. And if you're on as well, use 14.2 and you can see the details and you can select the one matching most with your system characteristics or system specs at the end there is system parameter and here you have to inject system id and in nvidia web if you're using nvidia graphic card if you go down here and install drivers there is this option and if you want to fix your boot up drivers or boot up logo stretch issue which so many people have that their logo is stretched up when they boot into the system then you have to install this csm video dxe and you have to add these values here in the gui section and then if you want your graphic card to work for example if you have nvidia or amd graphic card and it's not loading the driver it's like loading it into the basic apple's driver but it's not loading the acceleration or proper drivers then you have to install this emu variable uefi otherwise the graphic card drivers doesn't load so basically that's a lot about the clever configuration in one video and i hope you guys liked it and if you guys liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel share the videos to your friend and help me on patreon as well i have an account there and if you want me to make more such videos then ask me in the comment section as well and if you want me to make videos on other subjects as well for systems games and anything you want let me know in the comment section as well thank you so much thanks again i have an account here on facebook and on twitter so follow me there as well and that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care allah hafiz